Hello and welcome to episode 18. So my name is Richard Ishwood, registered nurse from No More Earwax. Uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah, there's our clinic room if you've not seen it before. Uh, and a lovely old building. So, two in one day eight. Aren't you lucky? So this chap came to see me today. It's just one ear this and as you can see, it's got this nice slimy like jelly-like consistency. Um, in his ear canal. I've seen quite a lot of these type. Now it tends to happen when there's a, I'm not saying overuse of oil because I get that when people are desperate you'll try anything, you'll pour absolutely anything in there. Um, I actually saw a gentleman the other day who poured vodka in there thinking that that might help. Uh, it didn't, needless to say. I know he wouldn't mind me sharing that because he sees the funny side of it now. Thankfully he's okay. Um, so yeah, as you can see, uh, it kind of approached it slowly and there was a bit of jittering around because when, when it slurps up like this it does make kind of a <laughs> type of noise um, and it can be a bit off-putting for the patient sometimes. We try and keep it noise to a minimum but mag suction is quite a noisy procedure sometimes. You get all kinds of weird noises. Um, and so yeah, obviously you can see through to the eardrum already managed to clean the uh, the offended blockage, which like I said before, is always the prime aim of any wax removal procedure. Um, anything else is a bonus. But I think if we can get rid of this, it obviously might prevent uh, a problem in the near future, you know, because obviously there's the new dead skin and new oily waxes made behind there, it tries to get past it. It's not gonna get past it. It's just gonna join in the party and, uh, and it's gonna start growing again, this little plug. Um, so I'm going to try and finish off get and uh, slurp up this, this other one, as you can see approaching kind of slowly again, uh, just in case there's a big, <laughs> hope that noise doesn't put you off your teeth, but that is actually what it sounds like. Uh, so I'm just trying to grab a little edge from the side there, just to see if we can gently peel it away, rather than uh, one big jumpy slurp. And as you can see, as soon as you grab that little bit to try and peel it into the middle, it just tries to bounce back. But uh, we're making a little progress. Um, so yeah, two in one day. I'm uh, really spoiling your answer. You'll have to let me know if you like uh, more content like this, the relatively straightforward ones and the routine ones that we see all the time, or whether you just want to wait till we've got something particularly interesting or unusual or weird. Um, I really don't mind whatever you guys want. You'll just have to let us know in the comments down below. Uh, like I said before, feel free to subscribe, comment, like, heart, follow on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, wherever it is that you're watching these. I uh, really appreciate all of them so far. I haven't made my first 50p from YouTube yet, but I'm working on it. Then I can officially tell the kids that dad's a YouTuber and he's the coolest dad in the world, Obviously, which is what I am anyway, obviously. Um, so yeah, nearly there now. Just this little stubborn bit. I've tried to get a bit from just above it, which is actually a bit nearer to me. So I'm hoping I can try and peel that down. And then I might be able to clear this last little bit there. And I think it's just about to jump into the tube now. No money shot at the end of this. There's no ruler shot because with ones like this that are like this jelly consistency, it, um, there we go with the food analogies again. It, it all disappears into the tank. And as I've said before, you do, oh, there we go, jumps into the tube there. Um, you don't want to see the tank shot. I think I did post one on TikTok somewhere else and uh, the response was, how can I put it, unfavorable. Uh, it's not something you want to see when you've, uh, after a busy day in clinic and uh, when you've not had your tea yet. But uh, I see most of us nurses have stomach of oxes and uh, we tend to forget that everybody else is not quite the same as us, built slightly differently. Um, so we're gonna try and grab this last bit there. There's a few little specks and bits and bats all over the place, as tends to happen with this one that's been heavily oiled and it's a bit slimy and jelly-like. Um, but you need a little bit, you need a little bit of earwax in there, it's good for your ear. It's there to protect you. Uh, so absolutely pointless. Hoovering away every little tiny last bit and it's the wrong thing to do. Like I said, risk the benefit, you've got to weigh up. Is it worth it feeling all these? No. Clear the blockage, there's the eardrum. Again, a little bit retracted there. A lot of people I'm seeing with colds and viruses with a bit of a negative uh, pressure problem in their ear. Um, usually passes, but always worth checking out if it doesn't. So yeah, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it and stay tuned for the next one. It's our whopper.
see you soon bye bye